Ryan Scott cooking with Scuttle. Everyone knows the world's best couple is chocolate and peanut butter. But you can't forget peanut butter and jelly and peanut butter and a lot of things. So let's make some homemade peanut butter cups, some traditional and some not so traditional, more creative combinations like peanut butter and jelly, fluffernutter, and of course, chocolate and hazelnut peanut butter cups. Mix one half cup peanut butter, one third cup powdered sugar, one and a half tablespoon softened butter and half a teaspoon salt. Blend until smooth and set aside. The powdered sugar helps give the filling that legendary, almost crumbly texture. Melt one cup chocolate chips of your choice with one quarter cup peanut butter in the microwave in 30 second bursts. And if needed after one minute, warm in 10 second bursts to avoid burning. Stir until smooth. The peanut butter is optional in white chocolate unless you want an off-white hue. Using a piping bag or cookie scoop, add just enough melted chocolate to cupcake liners to coat the bottom. It's all about that chocolate to peanut butter ratio. Tip or tap on the counter to level the chocolate and then chill until solid. Then use a piping bag or sandwich bag and nip off the corner to add a nutty, salty layer of peanut butter heaven over the chocolate. Leave a little room around the edge. If you'd like, pipe the peanut butter into a ring-like donut shape to leave room for the sweet fillings. Chill again to set. Another heavenly combination is peanut butter and jelly and the classic kid favorite, well, adults too, the fluffernutter. And you can't forget chocolate and hazelnut. Using a piping bag or spoon, add a dollop of fluff, jelly or fruit spread, I like strawberry or raspberry, and chocolate hazelnut spread over the peanut butter. So you can tell these apart right on your cupcake tin with a dry erase marker. Meanwhile, melt another cup of chocolate with a quarter cup peanut butter. Top the cups with a thin layer of warm, creamy chocolate, adding just enough to cover the fillings. Speaking of chocolate and peanut butter being the perfect pair, water and chocolate are perfect enemies, so do not mix any water with your chocolate. While the chocolate's still soft, feel free to decorate with sprinkles or small candies and chill to set. Trim the liners, and these make great gifts, or you can hoard them and keep them for yourself. <laughs> Fat Kid Pro Tip, save some in the freezer so you've always got a supply on hand. These peanut butter cups taste even better than the classics you'll buy at the store. Your friends and family are gonna love these peanut butter cups if you're willing to share. Thank you for joining me. Tune in next time and I'll teach you how to make something else. Food